I'd like to take this opportunity to suggest to parents uh, some of the things that they can do to take care of their children uh, when they're using technology. Uh, it's important to see that when we're looking after children using uh, things like mobile phones and computers, that parents are not policing them when they're looking at who they're talking to and how they're using this technology, they are supporting them. It's really important um, that for young boys and girls, seven, eight, nine and ten year olds, that they do not connect to people that mum and dad have no knowledge of. We are seeing a lot of cases around the country where boys and girls uh, are playing online games when they're seven, eight, nine and ten years of age and they are connected to hundreds of strangers. And it's important that mum and dad really understands the risks in those kinds of situations. Uh, number one, what I'd say about gaming is that when a child plays a game, what parents need to do is check the quality of that game and the values. Is the game consistent with the values of the family? What's the age restriction on that game? What kind of communication functionality is in the game? Those are the kind of things that parents need to test and have a look at before they allow their child into that game. If a child is going to use an online game, I would suggest also that you encourage your child to create an avatar or a mask and give themselves an internet name when they're in that game. And particularly, you know, encourage them to play games, encourage them to use these games because they can be beneficial and many of them are. But it's important to also give them a strategy to look after themselves if things go wrong. Number one, it is very important that you teach your children not to send pictures of themselves to people that you don't know. Teach your child, your young children, never to send pictures of themselves or their family members to people that may inquire of those pictures when they're playing these games. And then teach them that when they are, they are asked these inappropriate questions, that they can come forward to you and get help. Um, it's also important that parents don't overreact when their children do come forward. One of the greatest barriers for children to come forward and tell mom or dad something has gone wrong on the internet is mom and dad's reaction to them historically. So we need to remain calm and deal with the issues at hand. I work with boys and girls that are 16, 17 and 18 who are struggling uh, to find even part-time work. What I'd like you to know is that every one of your children will be subject to a Google search by a potential employer or even the university that they go to. They are looking for any content that the child has uploaded about themselves or that their friends have published as well. And if that content is derogatory uh, or works against them or is embarrassing or inappropriate, then it will uh, reduce their opportunity to get the job that they're being interviewed for. So teach your children to nurture and protect their online identity. It is actually becoming really their real CV. I meet lots of boys and girls that have got large social networks where they're connected to eight, nine hundred people at a time. And in most cases, they haven't met that many people. So again, it is important to teach our children discretion, self-control, to consider the kind of pictures that they're uploading into these social networks, not just of themselves, but also um, of their own family members. We live in a, 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 a society today where the, how we use technology is a shared responsibility. Um, I would encourage you to teach your children to nurture and protect their own identity. I'll leave you with one more tip. If you've got young children, um, take five or six pictures of them with your digital camera, uh, and then turn the camera around and show them these pictures and then invite them to delete the ones that they don't like. The sooner that we give them a sense of ownership and authority over their own identity, the better off they're going to be when they start to use this technology. Thank you very much.